Okay. Um, so, upon that initial verification. so there's a question about my employment on in 2018 and 2019, because I can clear right. that up real easily. And I can do it in three ways. Um, one is uh, I've got a record of um, the rosters showing me as uh, the coach. Uh, we could check with the varsity coach, Ellen Schaefer, who would verify that I was the coach. And I have photographs of me with the team showing me as a coach. Uh, formal, the formal, co uh, formal volleyball pictures that are taken of all the teams. So I can very easily demonstrate to you that I was working there in 2018 and 19. Would you like me to do that? Um, I, I, I don't think at this point that's any, I mean, that it, Nova has sort of made a decision and I don't know that any additional, I guess I'm not sure what the, what the purpose, like, what is it that you're trying to accomplish here? Well, let me tell you the purpose. Um, you sent me a very harsh letter when I was, um, fired or whatever the term was. And I felt that was unfair. And so I wanted to clarify that I had not lied to Nova. At least I had not any intention of embellishing my record or, or anything like that. And I want my record to be clear that I'm not a liar. It, that's fair, isn't it? As Chris Sell, you said in the termination letter that he had behavior unbecoming a coach and that he was no longer going to be able to volunteer and he was banned. You made him sound like some sort of perp. So you I also, think that's what he's referring to. And you also said in the letter, you said that I was guilty of dishonesty. Well, I guess yeah. that's the same as lying. And I'd, I'd like that cleared up on my record because there was no lying, no intent to lie. I very much would but like. I can't promise anything. Well, I'm not asking you to rehire me. I mean, the season's almost over anyway, and I'm not sure it would be a good idea for me to work there in the future anyway. But I want my record cleared up in case I do want to coach somewhere else. I, it, you know, if somebody contacts Nova, I, I don't want um, that kind of statement on my record going to anyone else because it's not accurate and it's not fair. That makes sense, doesn't it? I, I, I certainly like I said, I'm, I'm happy to add anything that you would like to provide to me uh, electronically. If you'd like to send something um, to my attention, I'm happy to add it into your employee record. Okay, I will do that. To do that and, and write any clarification that you would like to provide, we certainly can keep that on record in your file. I will do that. Can, can you um, explain why he, I mean, he has already volunteered and coached there for, going back almost eight years, why he's no longer allowed to volunteer and why he was banned from NOVA? Uh, so from, from the volunteering perspective, um, because uh, while they appear to be separate instances when, when, there, uh, have, when there's been something in question on the employment side, um, if NOVA takes uh, action on employment, it can impact the ability to volunteer based on our... Right, but but you don't have any anything to base that on anymore. So why is he? That, I mean, that he's. That is a decision that, that I can make. Oh, who who makes the decision? I. Uh, well, uh, it was uh, our executive director and our legal counsel. So it's, it's certainly like we don't. Your legal counsel. Mm -hmm. Who is that? That's standard. It's standard procedure. So. Um, Who's your legal counsel? Okay, well, this is really important, and if you're saying that this decision was not yours and it's the executive well, director... It was ours. No, not... You, you're saying it was the... Something going under review is not the same as them making a determination. They do not make our employment decisions for us. Okay, I'd just like one thing clear. Would, in light of the fact that the discrepancies can be explained, would I be, again, able then to volunteer at NOVA? Uh, that is something that I would need to... 
be able to make on my own. Um, I don't oversee volunteers, so. Uh, say that again, please. I didn't understand. I do not oversee our volunteering, so I would need to uh, take that under advisement and, and uh, get a couple so, of people in the loop on that. Who is the decision maker on the volunteering then? Well, the person that handles our volunteers is Ginger Gabor. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then if uh, that might also go up to our executive director, who you have emailed, so Dr. Okay. Wetland. So her name is Ginger what? Gabor. Gabor, G-A-B-O-R. Okay. And... Could I reach her by calling the Nova number? Uh, she does have a, there's a volunteers at Nova Classical email address. Okay. Um, that you'd be able to reach out to her. Certainly, yes, you could uh, leave a voicemail if you wanted. I don't know what her availability is to take a call. But. Okay. Um, was there anything other than the discrepancies in the employment that were the reason for this termination? Okay. Even the, even the, um, what was the, oh, disciplinary action. What was that about? But the disciplinary action was the termination. Okay. Um, I have a kind of a general observation. Um, I worked in human resources, not in the department, but I did a lot of work with affirmative action and human resources. And I'm a little surprised. This was at the Department of Natural Resources, a state agency, they would not allow inaccuracies like this to occur in somebody's record. I'm curious why Nova would. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that question. Well, um, the DNR keeps detailed files on all employees. Uh, if their file, being the DNR's file, had inaccuracies that um, slandered an employee, I think they'd make every effort to correct that file. And I'm kind of wondering why Nova seems reluctant to. Oh, we're not reluctant to, sir. We, we have the information that you submitted in your application and attested to when you submitted that. And then we have the documentation that we have provided to you. And then we have whatever documentation you would like us to include in your file that you plan to send. Okay, okay. but there's no inaccuracies any longer, correct? But, but we, you said you do a thorough background check. I can't believe that if something, a date was, you, that you would not investigate that further. And Regan said that she would back that up. The other coaches said they would back that up. The administration at CDH has changed since Joe was there, including the varsity coaches, I'm sure you know. So I, I don't understand. You're not being thorough. And you're, I mean, what Joe's asking is how, how is this negativity and the way that you handled things, the way that you walked him out of the gym, all that behavior, when it, it wasn't based on fact, how is that okay? It was based on what we understood at the time. If you didn't understand something, then you should investigate more, right? And do you understand why he couldn't explain it? Because it wasn't, it was accurate. That's why he couldn't explain it. I also couldn't explain it. I was in your office. I didn't have any access to records there. I mean, that's kind of um, almost bizarre that you would expect me to be able to resolve that sitting in an office. Uh, and, well. and he was treated criminal. I mean, I was left with the girls. It was my first practice. I didn't have things set up. Um, the girls were wondering where he was. It was just very unprofessional. And he was treated like a criminal when you, now you're saying that, well, we just couldn't verify that behavior doesn't make sense for what you're, you're accusing him of. Well, again, we haven't accused him of anything. The information that we provided in the letter was based on our findings at the time. And uh, in light of new information, like I said, I'm, well, I'm happy to put that in his file if you guys would like to send something over. Okay, when you, um, would you send me a copy of my file? Uh, if you would please request that in writing, uh, I can. I will do that. Um, the majority of your information, I will tell you, is in your application file online, as the majority of our, our uh, documents are online. 
But the only way I could add something to that file is if I see what's in there. So I will send you something. A data practices. Data practices, uh, requesting a copy of that. And then I'll send you um, kind of verification of my employment and whatever else might be called for under that. Okay, so I'm going to contact Ginger Gabor. Did you say you were going to contact the attorneys? And she I, said, I was trying to understand that. What was what were you going no, to do? I, they they review some of the communication that we provide, but but like I said, again, specifically clarified um, the employment action that we took was ours. Um, it was not our employment attorney does not make take action on behalf of Nova. So their action was just advisory. Okay. I have no more questions. Beth, do you have any? Um, it just, it makes no sense. I mean, it's so unprofessional. I, I just, I, I just feel like, there, I know there's, you're not going to change your mind, but I, I feel really traumatized by what happened. And I guess I just wanted to tell you that because I, I encouraged Joe to apply to coach because he was there all the time and he's passionate about it. And I was excited to co-coach with him. Um, and this fall, I just lost three dogs. And I just feel like, okay, I'm sorry. I just feel like this has just been so traumatic. And I hope in the future, if you have a discrepancy like that, that you somehow change how you go about treating people. You know, he's 80 years old and he's been coaching half his life. And I, I just think it's, it's, just, it's just wrong that somebody has to feel this at the end of their coaching career. Okay, that's it. That's all I got to say. Okay, um, I guess that's everything unless you have some final comments. Okay. Thank you for calling back. Goodbye.